So I'm starting this video off a bit differently. As you guys know, I've never done an ad in my YouTube videos. And the reason of that is because I've always had companies reach out to me that I find I didn't really like just want to work with because I only ever want to work with a company if I actually believe in their product and see myself actually using it. So I'm actually happy to announce this is my first ad with a company that I've loved and I've used in the past a bunch. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh who actually just dropped off my big weekly box. I have some footage of it, gonna roll it. For those of you who don't know what HelloFresh is, I just want to explain it to you quickly. HelloFresh is a customizable meal kit service that delivers pre-portioned fresh ingredients based around your schedule. So all the ingredients you need to cook up a storm are included in your box and delivered right to your door. So there's no need to stress about grocery lines, grocery lists, all that. You'll receive fresh ingredients all year long and my favorite thing about HelloFresh is that the ingredients are pre-portioned so there's no waste, it's good for the environment. And they give you a very easy to follow recipe card which is included in the box. Your meal plan is also very customizable. For example, they have a carb smart program which you enjoy recipes with 50 carbs or less and they also have vegetarian options family friendly options stuff like that and for me i had five meals delivered to me for the week but it's still fully customizable you can get two meals a week if you want etc and the plan you choose is very flexible to suit your lifestyle and there's 20 new recipes every week it's also just super easy to manage because they also have a hellofresh app where you can choose your meals up to a month in advance so if you don't feel like fish that month or something you have a specific diet you can customize that as well and if you're out of town for work or something or for specific weeks you can skip delivery for that week or change your delivery day slash address. And if you're not as experienced in the kitchen like me, since I've been blessed with two amazing cooks that I never cooked that much when I was younger, the recipe card makes it super easy, breaks everything down. So I'm also learning cooking techniques that I didn't know before. If you guys want to support me and support a company that I actually love, you can use my code JET80 for $80 off your first order. What you're seeing right now, I actually made this chicken and broccoli for lunch. It was super tasty. So one more time, I just want to do a big shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring the video. Thank you. Now back to the vlog. So I posted an Instagram poll. Normally I find Q&A's kind of boring, so I'm gonna edit this really fast, quick cut, a lot of information, straight to the point. Yeah, plug yourself. What's up guys, Kai here, Jet's brother, and the reason why he has a new career on YouTube. <laughs> No, but to be honest, Jet is the reason why I started on YouTube. And then, I guess I'm the reason why he started on YouTube. Yes, sir. You ready? Ha! You could be the greatest at one thing in life, what would it be? Probably basketball. Yeah. Rather a nice car or great style? Definitely great style. If you had to pick one, like... I'd rather have a nice car and like pretty good style. Implying that you have bad style. Good style and a nice car? Yeah, I guess good style. Three albums for the rest of your life. Frank Ocean Blonde. Here, we'll do a combined list. So okay. Agree on. I like views is really long, I guess, pause. I like uh, if you're reading this, it's too late. That's the one's shorter. I honestly, any one of them I, I would pick. Yeah. What made Kai change his whole aesthetic when it comes to fashion? I kind of fell out of like the chase of like the newer designer stuff. I just didn't want to like buy designer shit anymore. I just, I wasn't into it. Like you lose, you lose interest in things, right? I guess finding my own style. What made you come up with Mute? Well, Kai had a nickname for me in vlogs. I'll put screenshots into all the comments. And yeah, I like the word, but I just wanted to spell it a bit different. Actually, people think it's because of Pokemon. It's kind of, a, I never said this before. When I first made my channel, I, I had the idea of the brand. I didn't start actually putting it into like making stuff. I just think it looks cooler like that, honestly. Instead of just the word Mute, I just spelt it differently. It looks more aesthetically pleasing, I guess. Favorite restaurants and stores in Miami. Restaurant is absolutely Zuma. Zuma. You know, one of me and Jet's favorite restaurants, Zuma and Carbone are like those big, like fancy restaurants that are multi-locations. Store? Oh, Webster. Yeah. Is the best one, for sure. Is there something that you're too afraid to wear because of fan reaction? I feel like I used to never wear wife beaters until I started like working out more because I was just so skinny. But, like when I play tennis or like workout now, I feel like I wear them. Just yeah, same thing, but for different reasons. <laughs> Opposite? Yeah. Uh, like what, what What could you be that embarrassed to wear? If it's that embarrassing, I don't like it. Yeah, I guess. What's your favorite snack to eat when you're baked? Uh, neither of us smoke weed, but favorite snack is for me is definitely chips. I like baked wings. <laughs> a good juice, like a fresh juice of some sort with ice in it and then like flavor blasted goldfish. We like drinking it and chewing it at the same time. I always do like a cup of goldfish, cup of juice so I can just like kind of do this. Like a, you do this and then you do this. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's your favorite dim sum dish? Uh, probably like a lo mai gai, ha gao, uh, cha siu, uh, ha cheng, zai cheng, congee, bulu gai. You smell so Top good. Top five in your collection. I don't really have anything hype anymore, really. If you guys saw the giveaway I did, I got rid of everything hype. SB. Well, it doesn't have to be hype, it's just your favorite what you have. Uh, I think they're called Dior B 17s or 18s. Mine, I wear the most definitely Chicago one. Toronto food or LA weather? Dude, it's like equal. I'm, I miss the food back home in Toronto. The food in LA is like, it's definitely it's pretty worse. good. It's pretty good here. It's definitely like, no, world-class food here. Both of them are world-class food scenes, but I just miss the shit I grew up on. So I feel like it's too dispersed the city to like, if it was condensed like Toronto, yeah. it would probably be just as good, but it's like, one restaurant's on one side of the city yeah, and then one's Does Kai care about YouTube still? I've just been a little uninspired lately because I've been feeling really cringy about making YouTube videos and because like I can't, we, ha we haven't, we're like quarantined pretty much. So we don't do anything but play video games and I'll do work. I don't want to make forced videos. I just want to make like lifestyle content and I'm not really able to do that right now. So I'm just taking a little bit of break right now. What is the most used thing in your wardrobe? Nice pair of Nike shorts and vintage tee. Mine's probably the same, like a vintage shirt. Favorite basketball player. If I want to go to a game against the team, it's probably be LeBron. Just to watch yeah. him play. Yeah. Which brother would win in a cook-off? Actually, Levi can cook too. I'm very well Definitely versed. Definitely not me. Very well versed. I'm the worst. I've always proposed that as a as a concept for a video. Cook-off and Levi's like, I don't want to do that. Skincare routines. I can wash my face and then moisturize it. No cap. Yeah, put moisturizer in. I have this thing that I put on the back of my arms. I'll put a photo in. Because I have like these little bumps. Why did Kai start YouTube? It's kind of just for fun as a like a fluke. When you're traveling, he wanted to like vlog it, right? Yeah, yeah create content, I guess. I don't know. I didn't even really know what YouTube was. I like grew up on YouTube, so I'd always edit videos like in high school, my friends just like trolling and shit. So he just gave me the footage and I edited it. Then he learned how to edit and started doing his own videos. And I surprised you. Who complains the most after losing? Levi. Levi. Even before he's losing. Even if he's winning, he's complaining. <laughs> you just fight with Kai. Uh, once when Kai used to smoke cigarettes when he was 18, we were probably like 10. Yeah, I knew like cigarettes are bad and I found them and I knew there is. And then I just went like that to the thing and crushed them all. And I remember hearing you raging and I was like hiding in this little curtain. Who's the best tennis player? Definitely Levi, because he played until he was like 19 or 20 almost even. I stopped when I was like 13, you stopped when you were like 15. Biggest regret in professional life? I guess just like taking life more serious at a younger age. But no kid, you're not gonna expect any kid to be able to be like, I'm gonna start saving up for a condo when I'm like 17. I dropped out of the school in America and I feel like I should've stayed longer and tried to figure it out, but I was dumb as me, I was young, dumb. Biggest waste of money? Definitely dumb clothes for me. Favorite childhood TV show? I like Nancy Classified School Survival Guide. Like when I was really young, we used to watch like Power Rangers, Beetleborgs, that kind of <laughs> stuff. I don't even know what that is. What clothing brands do you think got burned out from popularity this past year? From Hearts. Even though I still like some of the stuff, like the more unique stuff I just saw, they did like a fleece hoodie. I feel like Essentials kind of is. Like yeah, like I don't like how they did the big yeah. essentials. Like it's like it's supposed to be like you just wear it like yeah. it's chill. It's not like, like basics. Like yeah, but I still like I'm wearing the sweats right now, so I guess I can't. Favorite RSGC teacher, Mr. Mr. Darvazi. Wasn't he the priest? <laughs> <laughs> what was your first hype piece? Knowing that it was hype. Like back in the day, I had a, a baby Milo hoodie. This was like I had to have been grade. Nine, 14 years ago. I had a baby Milo hoodie and I also had an A-Life hoodie. When bait was blowing up, like when Wayne was wearing it and shit, like I could, you couldn't get anything with the camo on it. You'd go to the store and just be sold out. I feel like I bought like Balenciaga like arenas. The first like person like I idolized like Kanye was. Like on Nora Leather Sweats I bought because he had literally the exact outfit I had. I'll put the outfit in. Painful. Kai's saying painful when he has this outfit on the internet. An archival wild <laughs> on us right now. <laughs> when do you like better, LA or Toronto? Toronto in the summer I like better for sure, but LA in the winter I like here. It's like Ansel's answer is that simple. Ansel, then actor. <laughs> <laughs> Every <laughs> thing I've been saying, one thing wrong. <laughs> Take it literally and say some dumb shit like that. I'm cutting it out. Shortest to tallest. Top three vacation destinations. First for me, Turks and Caicos. Tokyo, Argentina, Uruguay, LA. We can live here now. Forgot. Yeah! What happened to the streams? Gee. They're gonna start back up soon. They're gonna start back up soon, that's for sure. Favorite spots in Toronto for food? We mm -hmm. like this pho restaurant. Pho. 
Even when I say it right, he's doing it. Foot 1010. Shout out to my boy Jay, Korean Village. We kind of grew up going there. I wanted to make a little segment on this and give him a little shout out because recently he lost his mom and his dad, I believe. And uh, they're like family to us. And times are tough right now, especially in the Toronto food scene. Like Miami, you, maybe there's outdoor dining in Florida, whatever. But like Toronto is, it's freezing. No one wants to leave their house. And so not a lot of people doing takeout. You can only do takeout. There's no indoor to outdoor dining. It's too cold. So um, I know they've, you know, had even their friends working for them for free. So if you guys go, you know, I'm telling you the food there is fire. Korean village on Bloor and Christie. Massive menu too. Yeah. Korean village restaurant. I re recommend the dakboki, yakimandu, the kalbi, bulgogi, japche. And then they give you all these free side dishes. Yeah. That are and uh, tell, tell them Kai sent you if you uh, go in there and see Jay. One of the things I miss the most in Toronto are Korean village. Fo Tien Tan. I miss a good Rukti. Lee restaurant. And I actually miss Rukti too. <laughs> Last question. You're gonna prank me or some uh, I, I, I can't think you are gonna prank me. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this Q&A, make sure to follow my brother. Go support, mute, like, comment, subscribe. Check me out.